Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2507 in Candy Crush Saga as a special dedication to Mary, who has let me know that they have changed the level yet again. We now have 32 moves to take out four ingredients. Presumably they're going to come from any one or all of these dispensers, and we have to drop them anywhere down here. If they fall onto a place where it's not a good place to collect, Thankfully, it'll come out this way and we can drop it down, but it's not going to be easy. These cutouts are going to make it difficult. The chocolate spawners, I'm sure, are going to make it difficult. Maybe even the mystery candy dispensers, because those can be good or evil. So we've got a lot of limits. It looks like the portals are just kind of self-working there. Let's jump in and see what we can do with this. Now the deal with chocolate is when I take one out on a turn, no new chocolate can form, and if I don't take any out, that's when new stuff can and will form. Sometimes there's a one or a two turn delay. I already got two ingredients down on the very first turn. Now let's say I had this side all cleared out and this side not cleared out. Sometimes the assumption is we have to collect one ingredient per dispenser because there are four dispensers, four ingredients, but we could try to get them all to come out from the same dispenser if we were so inclined and if it happened to work. But right now I'm just taking the only moves that are available at any given time. I don't have choices. Well, I do. I, I can make these three connect or I can turn it into a stripe. That's it for me. So it's a little bit tough to deal with this. Ah, look at this. I'm going to put these two together and open up this column right here and see if I can get maybe some of those mystery candies to help me out. Maybe. Um, and I've got a color bomb here, but I don't know. I think maybe if I take out red, it'll also open this up, which is good. I need to get that reopened. But the problem is I've got all of these licorice twirls here. I've got to make a gap in here so I can bring this downward. This is not an easy task. And I don't seem to be getting any new mystery candies. It might be because this is here. So I'm kind of hoping that the chocolate covers that over. Let's go for a bit of a cascade that'll help with this licorice. Okay, so now that it's covered over, I should be able to get something here. I probably won't be able to get a blue to drop into place anytime soon. So let's bring this down. Well, Mary, you can see I'm not having a great deal of success with this yet. <laughs> but that's you know, what I do is I'm persistent and I experiment and try different strategies. And sometimes just the persistence and getting some luck is what the help that we need to get this done. I made a little bit of a breakthrough here. There we go. Finally, I got that onto the conveyor and I got another one onto the conveyor. But look at this. This is all blocked off. Yikes. Well, I'm opening it up a little. I only have seven moves left. I, I'm not hopeful at this point. I'm still trying, but I'm not expecting <laughs> much to happen here. Uh, because then even if I were somehow to be able to collect those two ingredients, I would still need to get two more ingredients down through here. So now I have to look at what my strategy is going to be moving forward. I'm going to pause the recording. I'm going to come back and I think I'm going to work primarily on seeing if I can get these mystery candies going and if I can get some lucky ones instead of a whole bunch of chocolate, but maybe some color bombs and such, maybe some stripes. Uh, and then the other thing I'm going to look for is maybe just sticking with one side of the board and trying to clear out those licorice twirls. So I'll be right back and hopefully with some better luck. Okay, so I see a few opportunities. I like this, but I'm going to go for this cascading thing first and bring those two in together. And then take out a little bit of chocolate and drive things downward. That's not bad, and I like reshuffles. Reshuffles can be helpful. I could set this off. It's just not a great spot. Ah, oh, stink. Well, I got that. I like that. And then what can I do with this? Probably nothing before it gets consumed with chocolate again. 
I could take out all green and that would help somewhat. I do like that actually. It's also going to help down here. It's going to help over here. Okay, so I've got a stripe. It's not aimed well. I think I would rather focus on what's happening over here. Wrapped, wrapped combo is kind of amazing. And that's going to clear out things all the way down to here. Now, I need to capitalize on that by drawing this down further. And I don't have that available yet. So I'm going to keep looking for these stripes. There we go. All right. So I'm going to do that. Nice. And then I can take this out, and I've got these two guys here. So I'm going to clear this path, and that gives me an opportunity to draw these downward. Of course, that conveyor belt comes around, and I've got the chocolate that can grow at me. So I have to be a bit careful, but this is looking pretty good. <sighs> it, I'm, not, I'm not there yet. And now I feel kind of stuck. I don't have any good moves. This chocolate is starting to encroach. It can't make moves over here, which is where I would want to make moves. So I'm hoping the conveyor belt will help. It's not helping much. Oh, I should have taken the blue. Let's do this. There we go. And then I can open that up. I hate when that happens. It gets covered in cellophane. I could do this, but I don't see that as beneficial. I can't get an orange right here. I'm going to do that and this. Now this is coming back around here and I've got some good things happening. Okay, this might be it. Yep, there we go. So Mary, that's how I beat this. It was my fourth playthrough for recording purposes. It's not an easy one. You have to get a good purchase on this down here. I do like sticking with one side of the board instead of trying to pull them down on equal sides clearing one out completely. You do then run the risk of being stuck where you can't make moves on the side where your ingredients are, especially because the ingredients become blockers to some degree. They're not colors. You cannot match them. Uh, but persistence, I think, is key here, and I hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, folks, please put those below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.